Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A nice uh, cloudy day in one of the countrysides. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Zechariah 9 verse 9. It says, O people of Jerusalem, look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious, yet he is humble riding on a donkey. Here's my poem. Humble King comes. Rejoice! There's good news to mankind. A king comes very humble riding in a donkey. He has been born from a poor family, yet he is righteous and brings us victory. The Lord Jesus Christ was given to us. God wants to free us from, his, from sin very fast. There is no time to waste. Let's abide in Him. It is the only way we can overcome sin. Here's my essay. Jesus came to this world and defied all traditions. He didn't follow the ways of all the kings in the world. He chose to be born of a poor family instead of living in a palace and having all the worldly riches. No king has ever been born in a feeding trough for animals. No king was wrapped in swaddling cloths. No king had shepherds and lowly people witnessing his birth. Most of all, no other king was born of a virgin mother. That was a big dishonor for the traditions of his time. 1 Corinthians 1.27 says that God shows God chose things the world considers foolish in order to shame those who think they are wise. And he chose things that are powerless to shame those who are powerful. What a humble king we have in Jesus. Prayer. Lord, help me not to be afraid to go against human traditions. Reflection. Why do you think God breaks traditions? I think that um, when we follow traditions again and again, and sometimes we lose the meaning of that, uh, of, of the purpose why we're doing that tradition. And I think uh, God wants us to be aware, because in, in the Bible it says that He doesn't want to, you to do rote things, just doing things out of routine. He wants us to always be... Um, um, always be uh, experiencing something through our heart, not just our mind, not just, you know, dead things, doing dead things. And traditions, usually sometimes we do dead things. Even in Christmas alone, like, we, we give and give and we buy gifts and then we celebrate, we cook and kill ourselves to bake and have all these dinners uh, that we host in our homes. But what is really the essence of that? This is why uh, the Lord, the God, God gave us Jesus breaking all these traditions. He was a king, but he did not come from a rich family. He was a king, but he did not do all the things that the rich people did. But instead, he did the opposite to make sure that it is our heart that is uh, searching for him and wanting him. So, in the spirit of Christmas, uh, it's going to be uh, four days from now, and it's going to be Christmas, and I know uh, it's, there's nothing wrong with doing traditions. What is important is why do you do the tradition, and that, uh, that the essence of Christmas and the reason for Christmas is really the birth of our King, Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching, and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. You have yourself a wonderful Christmas, and I hope that you have started uh, preparing and not get into the stress of Christmas, but to spend time with the Lord this season of love. God loves you so much, and so do I.